Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. It's Saturday, so you know what that means. It's us. Chilling, chilling. Being idiots. To my left is Frankie, to my right is Jeff, and I am Sean. Welcome back. Yay, yay. Episode 12, boys. One deuce. I can't believe it. You really? think you can fuck up 12 12 year olds? I couldn't. Joe Rogan could. Joe Rogan. Yeah, you know, but his his answer is correct though. Fuck you, up the first one. You smack the fuck out of that first one, they're gonna scatter. Set the tone. Yeah, because twelve year olds like to act tough. But then yeah. when it comes down to it, they're like oh, Well, like that kid that was talking shit to the guy and he fucking pushed him down and he started that's child abuse and started crying <laughs> well you ever hate like when you're like niece or well, nephew that's like 10 12 years old and they come up and they're like they think they're tough and they throw that punch and it hits you in the gut you're just like oh that fucking hurt Fuck, Harry. that hurts so bad but so i can't what, show this kid that he hurt me no, that's no, how Harry you know what i do he died you know what yeah. i do then you sweep the fucking leg johnny take the leg, johnny <laughs> take the leg knock that little fuck on his ass <laughs> Sometimes you got to put these bastards in their place. You know? Right, so but you know what I mean. Those, you know those surprise gonna, shots, they get you. You know who's going to have a rough time with getting beat up by his nephew? Oh, homeboy over here when AJ gets fucking. <laughs> Already. <laughs> bro. He's like fucking four and he's hurting people. My nephew is fucking shredded to the gills. Shredded for a four-year-old. He is fucking got traps, his six shoulders, pack. six his, pack. His he's traps in his ears. Jacked, he's got Lesnar neck. Yeah, <laughs> and he's already like got like the baby veins going down his arms. Like when he flexes, he's always flexing on people too. He runs well, up funny. on you and hits you and flexes. <laughs> they fucking brought they they went on vacation or whatever, and they had like people coming up and they're like, "What do you feed that <laughs> kid?" <laughs> Dude, he's gonna be a little monster if he doesn't play football. You know what I mean? Well, he's like, in wrestling now. Dude, and this he's going to be is a his fucking first year, wrestler. His first dominant. year of wrestling, and he's, he's dominating he's already. He's fucking killing kids. Yeah. He's overpowering. It's scary <laughs> overpowering Wait till he could be a linebacker or a fucking safety, and he's just. I guarantee <sighs> right now he can do more pull-ups than you. Mm-hmm. One arm. 100%. percent <laughs> Um, There's no way. He was too. I, I couldn't believe. He was like two years old hanging on the railing of the deck, and he's fucking bump, bump, like four pull ups. And I was like, what the fuck? You're not supposed to be able to do that <laughs> Dude, at that age. <laughs> yeah, but his dad's a fucking monster. His of a dad man. is a monster. He's a but fucking he, monster. I don't think he was ever that jacked. This kid right. is, looks like a fucking science experiment. Wait, wait till he gets bigger, though, and he's just a freak he's got that that strong german flowing through him there dude he's he's got that prototypical got, stuff right there well we we do have part austrian so you know arnold's, 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 arnold's running in the jeans you know what i'm saying kids flexing that's that's a no flex zone you don't wait till he gets to college that and he gets kid. that special sauce you think you, you think you could take 25 aj's <laughs> Bro, probably not I think they would overpower you And just go like primal on you And just start fucking swinging And you going would, for your you throat You would get gorilla fucked by yes. like 25. Like 25 little AJs That would be so no, it'd be, Yeah, it'd be like a pack of baboons <laughs> <laughs> It'd get gorilla fucked by them Because like you see like a little A little baboon You're like, man, I could kick that shit's ass <laughs> But those things are fucking jacked. Vicious. They're like a different kind of fucking strong. And yeah. that's what AJ is. Yeah. yeah. He's they a fucking, fucking pack of bad 25 of them? <laughs> he's a fucking silverback. Dude, yeah. He's he a is. fucking he's, gorilla. He's, 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 he's a little. He's a baby <laughs> silverback, bro. <laughs> Dude, he's going to do so much terror when he gets older. I know damage. it. He already loves competition, though. Like, throwing the football. He's like, I could throw it farther. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, what, where you at? What, yeah, what do you want to do? I could do it. Well, the twins, my stepkids, they're 10 years old, and they're like, fucking AJ's too aggressive. <laughs> right. He's a monster. Yeah, he just he doesn't even, he doesn't know his own strength, no. you know? He's fucking. Well, at that age, I remember when my nephew. <laughs> like the goods? was Rob Riggles? He, he's yeah. 10. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still considered? Just fucking shit up. No, that's such a good movie. God, I love that movie. Well, hey, boys. To another week. We're going to raise them. We'll raise them to je- Social. <laughs> To Jeff's nephew and his Stay circus freak Fucking strength, <laughs> <laughs> veins popping out. Like Jesus Christ! Oh yeah! Wow! So good! Oh natural! 
I Metro remember Jameson. I had my nephew over. We were watching the Bears game. It was long ago, and it was like game was over, fourth quarter. I'm laying on the couch, and I'm like nodding out from a night of drinking. You know, had some soup in the morning. Yeah. Sundays are rough. Yeah, and I'm just relaxing. And he's a little guy, like you know, AJ's age, and walks up to me, and I'm just like, hey, "What's up, bud?" And whack, <laughs> he just pops me in my eye. And he, he, like, takes a stance back, and he's like, come on, come get me. Come on. <laughs> I wanted to. Come on. Did he give the Keanu Reeves? He did. <laughs> Two hands. Matrix. Two hands. <laughs> come on. I, I would have snatched around. him by his fucking neck. Oh, God. I wanted to. I'm like, not in the face. And then he's like, runs at me like he's going to tackle me. Dude, no, you show your dominance. You grab him by the throat, kick his legs out, slam him to the ground, so he does that cry where he pauses, that, ah! <laughs> Yeah, they right. Kind of look at you. <laughs> his mouth's open. Yeah. His, no <laughs> air is coming nothing, out. No sound, but it's, you know it's going to be pause. so bad. Oh. Yeah. The pause. You know, when you smack your back really hard, you're like, <gasps> you know it's coming out. Oh, that reminds me of the backflip in Mexico. I was yeah. screaming so fucking loud under that water. <sighs> they had a belly flop contest today at Ye Old Corn Fest. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> There. Tell us about yeah. Let's let's explain what the fuck corn what fest the is. What the fuck? So corn fest is a festival put on by fellow podcaster, the noise of the north, Dano the Mano, and uh, like uh, one of the Aquanauts, which is a local ski water ski show. In like one of those shows where there's like twenty people doing the pyramid, pulled behind a boat, and but they all do no the jaws. pyramid. Yeah, no there's jaws. no jaws. No, just maybe a couple carp. But uh, so they put this. They still do some pretty badass shit, though. They I'm do. not going to lie. I wish I could do some of that stuff. Like so the wakeboarding shows. They put on a, <laughs> they put on a uh, contest. So they did a feet on fire, which has been going on since what the fuck? forever. It's barefooting. What does that mean? Not a, oh, we're where gonna, you ski you without skis. You ski without <laughs> what skis? is <laughs> You ski without skis. Well, it's, I don't Barefooting. Barefoot barefooting. You mean like uh, Nicolas Cage and John Travolta in uh, Face Off? Did they barefoot? I mean, they had shoes on. <laughs> but there's there's that, and there's you know slalom skiing or not slalom swivel skiing, and just all the water sports basically. They did contests for, as well as they did corn. Uh, fifty five hundred ears of corn. In two days. So what was it? How, How many much did for you the corn? Eat? <laughs> I ate uh, four today. <laughs> By half. It's all over your and, shirt. And two <laughs> dude, it's, it's butter all over your shirt. Just, I don't splurs. care. Once again, free shirt. Don't care what's on it. So you ran it? security for this event. Yeah, which was just me and a bunch of basically surf hippies. Yeah, they're not going to fight. None of them. They'll drink they all their their well, all everyone's there for fucking weed and corn. <laughs> <laughs> ba- it basically it, it, it's just all good hearted dudes. Everybody there is fucking super nice. Peace, man. Yeah. It it was you know, it's the fiftieth anniversary of Woodstock and basically it was like uh so water so skiing many Woodstock. Joints being passed around, so Bruh. much dope. Dope is dope. So it's just uh smoke. ski show, bands and corn? <laughs> uh the contest that they did a uh, a big ski show. Was today. there a corn eating contest? There was a corn eating contest. How many? How many people in it? Uh, eight, eight people. How how many? How many did he eat for the two point nine five? What does that mean? So almost three. So you almost see three in, in, in a minute and a half, and you had to shuck them too. What's that mean? Pull the outside of the corn off. So the husk. Oh. and how? Wait, how, how long? The husk. <laughs> a minute and a half. So in 90 seconds, you had 30 seconds to open and eat three ears of corn. Who was judging it? It, like, it, was, oh, just, nah. it, no, it nah, was just no. It was no. It was just a couple. <laughs> no, it was just, <laughs> there. It was just like the. It was just like the. You know, they you go democratically. You look at it, and they're like, if there's a couple, you know, random stragglers, they're not gonna get fucking dinged I feel for like that. I should have entered this. This is country as fuck. The dude got a uh, $500 uh, gift certificate to Sea Deck, so he doesn't have carpet in his boat anymore. He's going to have a Sea Deck in his boat. I don't even know what that stuff means, but that sounds C-D- awesome. Sea Deck is uh, 
not a sponsor, but they uh, <laughs> they no one's a sponsor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Butch Dixon is <laughs> Butch. They uh, pull our the Dixon cider. They put all the car- pull all the carpet out of your boat and put this fucking material in there that's better than carpet and it dries faster. It dries faster, like astroturf. <laughs> kinda, kinda, kinda. Jesus Christ! God, I it's, miss boating. Speaking of speaking of corn and all that shit, Frankie, do you want to tell the story about the uh, amazing hayride we went on? <laughs> oh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! The this worst is worst hayride of my fucking life. This is back. Was that when the one we I kids. picked you up? Oh. No, no. This is when we were kids. I was probably about. I want to say nine, because you were probably 12 or 13 around there. So mm-hmm. I was like eight or nine. And I live around corn in and was, hay. Yeah, in Wisconsin, where there's corn, literally, like you drive down your road at your old house, and it's there's all corn. Field. Right. So we went, it was a work party for my dad in the dealership, and there was a mechanic there that owned a ton of land. He had this farm, and there was horses and animals and all this stuff. And there was a big pig roast and party and everyone's drinking, having a good time. And he does this thing where he has this big old tractor and a big trailer that's filled with like a bunch of hay. and So and, a hay trailer. Yeah. And he's like, we're going to go for hay rides. My mom. I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's Jeff. like, take him on the hay ride. I was like, I live. I live around corn and hay. Man, my parents like, he doesn't ever see the corn or anything. Like, go for a ride with him. And I'm like, I really didn't give a shit to go. I, it's probably because they wanted to smoke a joint or something. But <laughs> so they're like, get out of here and go on this hayride. So we they ended up to go going. Shack and some beers, mm-hmm. right? And uh, we're like, fine. So we go. Jeff's all fucking like, ah, this sucks. Like he does not want to be there. And there's a couple of my dad's buddies from work and stuff. Like that, you know, some some like girls over there. They got this like blanket. And there's my other dad's buddy mechanic. He's got a tarp. And I'm like looking at him like, you're a fucking, why does this guy have a tarp? You're an idiot. Oh, we found out. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was the biggest genius. <laughs> so, so we're driving along and this is like, it's a pretty fucking long hayride. It was a long this, tour. Yeah. It's like all, it was a it was three a, hour tour. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. It was like we were literally gone Gilligan. for over an hour. This is Gilligan's Island through the corn. And about halfway out there, about like 35 minutes into this trip or so, and uh, we're probably on like the turn back, it starts fucking hailing. Oh, it got dark. So it bad. raining. Pouring. And it's hailing <laughs> literally golf balls. <laughs> Me and Jeff are fucking like screaming. Like, what the fuck? Like, everyone's under their blankets. And this dude's under this tarp with a bunch of people. I'm like, Lumpy, let me fucking let us get under this tarp. He's like, nope. This shit hurts so fucking bad. Because you're going like 30 miles, whatever a tractor could do full speed. Yeah. 20 miles an hour or something. <laughs> and, and like, we're it going into the wind and this shit's coming down. We had no fucking cover and it hurts so bad. I remember coming back. Jeff was fucking pissed. I didn't even want to go on this fucking <laughs> ride. It's probably the first time I swore at an adult. I didn't even want to fucking go. Frankie's mom's like, how was it? I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking get back and it's all sunshine. There's no cloud in the sky at the fucking it farm. It only rained and hailed while we were on this fucking hay For ride. like 15, 20 oh. beautiful, minutes Beautiful day. We Just go caught on this the hay one ride cloud. and fucking hailed. Literally, I was riddled. My we get arms back, were riddled with bruises. Sun shining. Fucking daisies. Everyone's we were a good time. soaked. That we was, were soaking wet. That was today, man. It. It looked like it was going to piss real hard on us, and we got, like, five drops of rain. Why, R. Kelly was there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> was he the musical act? <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, twitchy leg. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm fucking, you know it was time to start the podcast when I couldn't stand it anymore. Bruh. I had to sit down. Well, we also had the conversation of, are you going to McDonald's or oh, not going God. to McDonald's? I'm still, I'm still going to go after. 
everyone's been to the point where you're like so hungry and you just eat like a little bit of everything. We're just going through my pantry, (laughs) through my (laughs) fridge. Yeah, I'll have one (laughs) pizza roll and a beef I made like pizza rolls. I found like shit to make s'mores, so we just ate graham crackers. Oh, I got a beef stick in the fridge. Jeff comes down with pizza rolls. I was in heaven. (laughs) Then all of a sudden he opens the fridge. I'm eating a fucking fucking marshmallow s'more with no fuck. I guess it's not a s'more without the chocolate because your daughter ate it. Just having Mallow and Graham. <laughs> it was so. It was. Well, I sounds like <laughs> sounds like a shitty seventies band. Oh, it's Mallow and Graham <laughs> singing their hits. I got Gushers too upstairs, but those are locked in the vault. Yeah, no, those are too good. Oh, uh-uh, fool, those are for the baby. <laughs> I, I forgot to tell you about the band that was on uh, Friday night. Gushers? Ear pussies. No, <laughs> ear pussy. <laughs> they played yacht rock, bro. Like uh, I don't know, like like is. Christopher Cross, that sailing, take me away, and fucking the Doobie Brothers, so not Chris like, Cross, what? not Chris Cross, the Christopher do- Cross, <laughs> you know, like Michael McDonald, you know, the I can't keep, I keep forgetting. Is he related the song. to Ronald? No, I keep forgetting the song that was sampled for fucking uh, regulators. I really want to go to McDonald's. I keep forgetting. I'm not in love anymore. Juice, orange juice, Just Jones. Keep no, it. that's who is that? Me. Orange Juice Jones was uh, the rain. Keep singing it. I want to hear it. It'll come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Things will never be the same so, again. Yep. So <laughs> Jeff's got it. Jeff knows it. they played that song, by the way. What's crazy is, like, man, you fucking hear a song, and, like, everyone thinks, man, this fucking song, and no one has any. I, I honestly didn't know that, uh, what's that popular Nirvana song? Um Oh yeah, the king of the world. Yes, uh, the man who sold the world. Man who sold I the had, world. I honestly, when I grew up, I didn't even know that was a David Bowie song. That song because it's a, cover. a super obscure David Bowie song. It is, but I had no idea. So it's it's fucked up when you like hear a song and you're like, man, that's fucking. That's sweet. why I'm the remix king. I love remixes and stuff. But did you know that? Did you know that? Did fact? you? Did you know? Did, did you, you know, know that? that did fact? you know? Did you know that? Did, did you, you know, know that, that Nirvana, that song, the Men Who Sold the World, <laughs> that, that, that's a cover of the David Bowie? <laughs> How did I you bet know? you didn't. How did you know that? Frankie, what? Do you know the name of the song that Vanilla Ice sampled for Ice Ice Baby? Ice Ice Baby? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. You know, you know that that's a... You know that who... They stole that beat. Yeah, they stole that. It's all biters out there. No, huh? but do you know, do you know the, who <laughs> did the original? <laughs> No, okay. Then I mean, if you it, said it, I know that Jeff's giving I'll say me this one of the guys. I'll knowledge. say one I of the guys, and then knowledge. Sean could say the other. It's Queen and, well, Freddie Mercury and David the Boy. David Bowie under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you know so what his best? That wasn't his best song though. Who? Vanilla Eyes. It wasn't Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Yes, it was. <laughs> 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 Devil Forever no, the best wasn't. song by Vanilla Ice to me. It might have been the best. I fucking dance. love the turtle movies. What's better, the uh, yeah we know four <laughs> baby turtles guy. Four uh, baby turtles. Uh, I was fucking making. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing Splinter fucking. I'll start like fucking two of the morning. Four baby turtles. <laughs> Yo, Twitchy. Twitchy. You stop telling me how to live my life. I'm getting clicks in my fucking headset from you. You just sit and lay back because you're mushing that chair. Dude, I am exhausted. Kind of mush. Clicks kind and of booms. Mush. Oh, you know, I was fucked up, so I had to work today. It's fucking Saturday. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Got up early, but I uh, I drove past a grade school today. <laughs> you ever seen that show, How to Catch a Predator? Yeah. yeah. All you got to do is wait across the street from a grade school car wash. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you fucking catch a predator. <laughs> there's fucking... <laughs> there's eighth grade girls. These girls are 13 years old. They have bikini tops on, Daisy Duke shorts. Who's pulling into this car wash and just sitting there 
uh, wash, wash it, honey. No <laughs> Get it there nice way. and deep, like. There's not a. Ch- I'll pull in there and donate to whatever their cause is, and, and then, then I'm drive pulling them. straight <laughs> out. Just leave it. Like, what are you guys donating for? Oh, a trip to Washington D.C. Because that's the other sign I saw. Yeah. A trip to Washington. Help the eighth graders go to Washington D.C. Yeah. So we're gonna pimp them out here on the corner. <laughs> 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 Any dude that leaves from that car wash, you're pulling over. Yeah. Wow, your car's clean as fuck, buddy. You yeah. have no problems. Every, every four times this day. Every dude looks like Steve Bartman. I just couldn't believe <laughs> it. pulls into that car I'm wash. driving past like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I have a young daughter. Dude. Is she I, ever? I never if go she to those ever car washes. she's going to Washington. No. I'll fucking throw I'll work her. a second job. <laughs> I'll work a second <laughs> job. We're going to Washington, You don't need to, to go to no car family. wash. You ain't wearing that bikini top and those short ass fucking shorts. Well, with let, her sash, she's gonna tell you. Let's straight let's off. be honest though. When we were younger, no, it was different times, d- dude. Hormones, different and times, milk. man. Well, chicks oh. wore like guys wear baggy shit when we grew up. Chicks wore baggy shit. Yeah, it was weird out here. There was there was, and then Britney Spears came out. And, yep, yeah. in low rise jeans, low and rise platinum jeans. And blonde hair with black underneath, and oh, studded belts. Frankie's and, still talking. Oh about my it. god, well, <laughs> Frankie, should we Take leave? Me should we leave? Back. Should we leave the room for a second so you can have a little Jesus alone time? Jesus Christ! This is the gentleman's end. Just I could leave be free alone here. with the Google. I could be free. <laughs> God, if you were a scene girl in the nineties, I just and cannot pull, or in the stand t- early two thousands. <laughs> Can you pull it? If you Frank get, is the only guy that goes on Pornhub and is like, I can't believe they don't have a low rise jeans category. Right? That should totally be a category. <laughs> low rise jeans and high rise butt cracks. <laughs> right. If it just is like 90s to 2000 chicks, let's go. Pounce on mushin, muffin top. <laughs> <laughs> Put it this way if you have a tribal lower back tattoo, Frankie wants some Hit of that. Hit me ass. up. Hit me Bro. up. I'm telling you. Fake I wish sleeves. that skater shit would come back. That skater shit? What about that BMX shit? I don't know what that oh, means. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we're at the bar the other day, me and my lady, and they have this, um, some fucking BMX shit going Which, on. Which, by the way, my lady's going to put on a t-shirt. My lady. Pound sign. <laughs> Pound sign, my lady. <laughs> these guys are on these, uh, you know, pedal bikes, BMX tricks, and she's like, that shit's fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, what do you mean? Isn't the shit they're doing cool? She's like, they're on bicycles and they weigh like five pounds. <laughs> oh, that's if they were crazy. if they were doing that shit at 250, I'd be impressed. So what was funny is this is, you know, our fucked up relationship works. And I was like, all right, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, whose cock would you rather suck? <laughs> <laughs> a hot, a hot BMX rider or a fucking podunk motocross rider? She's like. Give me the motocross rider's cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm like, so if you have a Brad Pitt looking BMX rider, she would rather have the fucking Billy Bob Thornton looking she'd have fucking the Billy Bob Thornton motocross rider <laughs> <laughs> cock in her mouth, <laughs> trading vials of blood in the back of the limousine. <laughs> Frankie doesn't get that one either. Whatever else they're fucking doing. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. He doesn't know that He's one. not on the, He's the not 90s on. pop culture. Yeah. I just don't do trivia like you do guys. Do you know who Billy Bob Thornton is? Yeah. Who is he? He's a guy. He's that one actor. He, he, he's a guy that does the thing with the thing. Yeah, but he, you know who he used to date? He was do married. Do you know who he used to date? Angelina Jolie. Yeah, and they traded the vials of blood. They used to have necklaces around their neck with, with each, their, other's, each blood. other's blood in it. Fuck. Yeah, that's see, that's why. That's a I, commitment right there. <coughs> I don't do the whole social media and give a shit about someone Dude, wearing that came out before social media, I don't bro. give a fuck. That stupid tabloid stuff. It means nothing. People do stuff for just stupid reasons. They loved each other, bro. Yeah. That's really they did it. I fucking love, love you guys. Yeah, I don't want your blood anywhere near me. That's right. I don't know what. Fucking hooker juice and fest blood. Me and, you me and got Jeff are blood brothers. We cut ourselves when we were younger. Hmm? <laughs> we, cut <our laughs> we cut our thumbs. Huh? We cut I didn't our do thumbs. That. No, I didn't. Yeah, we did. How dare you? And then me and me and another Frankie, buddy, we got burn marks. Frankie was watching them movies again, man. Which ones? We were blood brothers. Yeah, bro. 
Remember when we were all Free vampires? Jeff. Do you remember when we were <laughs> all vampires? We figured out when you got hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. It's all coming together. You're welcome. Jesus Christ, the <laughs> honey maid. Yeah. I, still, I still think, you know, a group of like 12 vampires would be cool for Halloween, but a group of 12 clowns, still on board for that. I'm not. Fuck you. Nope. You just got to do all the makeup. Excuse me. That's why he's out, and I don't want to wear makeup. Dude, when you did my makeup for my clown, it was fucking It was awesome. gray, bro. It was fucking scary. Just fuck. do that 10 t- There's literally girls just that, do that left ten the times. bar. Girls left the bar crying scared because of my costume. Well, then you kept pulling I'm saying your we, dick out. I'm saying we rent the Ecto-1, <laughs> and we all go as Ghostbusters. But. Can I be Ernie Hudson? I'm fucking down. I'm Peter Bankman. That's just a given. You guys figure it out. Do I got to be Ray? Huh? But, uh, yeah, I, I guess I got to go with Egon. I, already, I, got, I got the glasses already on. Is, is it just because of that tan? I, I mean, I don't want to be non-sensitive, but we need to find a guy who fucking is in a wheelchair. There's so <laughs> many costume ideas we could do with a guy in a wheelchair. I mean, we could all go as the X-Men. We got a <laughs> Professor X fucking lined up. We need a bald dude in a wheelchair stat. <laughs> I feel like, why can't we just get a wheelchair? You don't have to be in it all the time. Yeah, but, but that guy in the wheelchair is just looking for a group to join. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, man. <laughs> man, we He's could be like, the X-Men. Well, shit. Imagine if you were in a wheelchair. Get on Every Facebook, year you got to be like, friend. fuck, man, what costume am I going to do this Je- year? Jeff's got Wolverine down. I mean, if I don't shave my back, God. I can go with Beast. All you got to do is paint me blue. <laughs> 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 You fucking savage. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking best, in, bro. That would be the best costume ever. Frank, you could be Sorb. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> no, he'd be a good gambit. Ooh, that no, would be, he'd a, good be a good gambit because he's got like the tan skin. You know, can you talk with a no. Louisiana accent? I can't do any accent <laughs> at all. You know what's fucked up is we were talking the other day about like Keanu Reeves and yeah. I mean he's let you go What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Ha. Ha. Keanu Reeves. I mean he's he's come back you know with the John Wick series and shit, but he fucking made some duds in between. His fucking Time southern. Time traveler's wife. No, he's done two <laughs> movies where he's done a southern accent. <laughs> yeah, Do you rough. remember this Devil's Advocate? Yeah, it's rough. And then the worst one, it was like half southern, half British. Remember Bram uh, Stroker's Dracula? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I forgot like, he was in that. Yes, and it was so bad. It was like half English, half well, Southern. Well, do your impression. You're good at impressions. Somehow, somehow you can Well, hear. he goes, no. so Keanu's like, regular Keanu, like, whoa. And then you have the English, oh, t- tea and crumpets. <laughs> so he, like, combined it. Oh, he's a vampire. <laughs> and then I didn't know. What to do? <laughs> What's funny is Jeff's <laughs> British accent's so good that it's coming through over the uh, Keanu Reeves, and it's better than Keanu Reeves. But it's like combined with whoa! <laughs> I couldn't believe yes. that this guy was a vampire, but he was. What is happening, dude? I don't know how like you can hear. A, like we'll be watching a movie, and there will be something said in a certain way. And then it'll be funny or whatever. You'll repeat it and literally have it down. And, like, you didn't even have to say it a couple <laughs> times to, like, perfect it. You just, like, like Frank, the Frank Caliendo shit. Like, well, you got to watch. It's it's easy if you watch the way they talk. It's not about, it's not even about, like, it's when not you the do sound an, they're making. When it's you the do an motion. accent, yeah. So you, like, watch how their lips are fa- Like, when you do the Stallone, you know, you always do that. You, yeah. like, bend your one lip. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know you got you got to yeah. put the one lip up. You know, John yeah, Gruden's always that. got the. Hey man, let me tell you about this guy. He's got the one eye down, and he's one got eye. the one eye and the lip. I got to tell you, man, this is a great season of hard knocks we got going on here, man. <gasps> Antonio Brown can't wait till he comes back to camp. How's uh, how's God, Derek Carr's arm? Feet in the game. Derek Carr's looking phenomenal, man. Let how's his arm? You. How's his arm? It's great arm. Yeah. Yeah, like a modern day Josie Wales, man. <laughs> this guy's a gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of gun gun would you compare it to? Uh, probably a shotgun, man. Shotgun? 
Yeah, it's got Not a, lot a cannon. Of, a lot of power. <laughs> See, I raise the eyebrows and open the eyes, man. Guy's got a cannon, man. Got Chucky. But no, it's like when you do an accent, it's not only the accent. Like it's easy to do an accent if you like watch how they do it. Yeah, the the Arnold, this, this the be a Arnold fun game. The Arnold, you kind of pull back your neck a little bit. All right, here's here's a fun the game. Arnold, Arnold. 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 Pick pick someone in a movie. Pick some actor in a movie and tell it to Jeff, and I want to hear him do an impression of it. Family. Pick. <laughs> <laughs> there was. I always wanted to hear Jeff do Vin Diesel. <laughs> I live my life according to my Is there any more Coronas in there? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, no, I, you know. Give me a movie. I want a movie, Sean. I want him to hear, hear him do, like, I don't know, Christopher Walken as the genie from Aladdin. Ooh. Well, how'd the song go? Fuck, I don't remember. A Friend Like Me was the name of the <laughs> yeah. song. And the only reason why I know that is because they I know it's like a, it's an up to the beat, the... You never had a friend uh, like me. I, I love watching the videos of like uh, when like famous people like they had a bunch of famous people say the lyrics of like that Drake song. I need a one dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics make no fucking sense whatsoever. No. So you got like Morgan Freeman <laughs> 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 and he's fucking <laughs> saying the lyrics of this fucking thing. But one of the funniest ones is fucking uh, there's a video of Christopher Watkins um, singing the, the Lady Gaga yes, poker face. Yes. <laughs> My pop pop. Pop pop pop. <laughs> <laughs> poker face. Poker face. <laughs> <laughs> the best one. There's a video where he sings the three little. He does the three little pigs. Oh, from Saturday Night Live. That was a good in. one. Not by the hair. <laughs> My Jenny Chin Chin. <laughs> A huff, a puff, <laughs> I'll blow your house down. <laughs> or w- when this, when the Simpsons did the, or was it Christopher Watkins does Good bu- Good Night Moon? Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon. You know what I want to hear? <laughs> I want to hear a Scooby Doo laugh, like Zoink Scoob. L- l- oh, dude, I'm so it, no. Child. Let me hear it. I want to hear you. <laughs> 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 See. T- <laughs> To do that laugh, it's Shaggy? it's a that that how that works is that's all from the back of your throat, <laughs> and you push your tongue almost touching your the, your teeth on the inside. So <laughs> 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 well, it's weird because like I can do a lot of impressions, so like I, it's weird for me when I'm like, oh, do this, and they're like, I can't. It's like, what do you mean you can't? I can't. I can't do it at all. That's, Accents, nothing. That's how Jeff and I'm I out. bonded. Like when we first started hanging out, was we just because we were just doing movie quotes, just movie quotes <laughs> and <laughs> fucking accents. We're still gonna have to do forth. an episode of movie quotes. The whole thing. The whole. Oh, thing. dude, I'm at the step in character. Movie again. God damn it, Jeff! I watched The Wraith again. Fuck yeah! <laughs> God damn, is that movie? <laughs> it's so bad. It's good. It is one of those. It's it's not on everyone's radar, but it's just one of those movies you just. I love it's how it's a classic. You sat Personal. down the other night and said, "I'm just gonna watch the shittiest movie I could find." That Who was does tonight. That? that was when tonight. Well, I w- I went to Netflix and like normally they'll have regular searches like, "Oh, this is these are your recently added." What's trying to because you watch this popular, and so uh, I don't know for some reason I wanted to watch a fucking Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> So I was like, I have uh, Enter the Dragon on Blu-ray, but I was like, maybe they have fucking Game of Death or something. Chinese so I just, connection. Or I just typed like in Bruce Lee, and then like all this fucking just basketball showed up. I'm like, <laughs> what? what does this have to do with Bruce Lee? So I started going through Equilibrium is a fucking awesome movie, and I was like, well, uh, I'm just gonna find the shittiest one. <laughs> I can find See, out the, of all the, these movies, and I'm just gonna I'm watch out. it. Je- no, I, Jeff loves, I was that. Like, loves okay. that shit. I was like, all right, there's Triple X, <laughs> there's Roadhouse, and then I found this movie starring Steven Seagal, <laughs> Mike Tyson, and some random Chinaman. And I was like, <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> so I just started watching it. Uh, I can't do that shit. Like I'm a big. I'm, I'm a big. Yeah, but uh, you do do it though. Like you'll you'll like turn, turn on your TV, TV and just watch and a movie. On. 
Yeah, whatever's up on the screen is what you want. Right, I do I that too, wanna... but I, I have, <laughs> I've done it where I've like. But you're I clicking started, on like, it. I yeah, can't make I, that decision. I'll watch Roadhouse instead. I'll click on something and I'm like, well, no, I'll do the same thing. I'll just turn it on and we're like, it's like a quarter through already. And I'm like, fuck, I have no fucking clue what's going on. <laughs> and this movie is so fucked up. There was like some hostage situation and some fucking. It's a Seagal movie, so there's automatically building. a hostage situation <laughs> at all times. <laughs> what was his. Oh, man. I don't know. Can't even say. Uh, every Steven Seagal movie has like. Three syllables. Hard to Hard kill. Hard to kill. Right. Game of, no, or no, okay, but that was Jake, uh, Bruce Lee. But it was always like, bomb, bomb, bomb. Yeah, because uh, that's, what was the name of that company that made all those movies? Under Siege is uh, fucking uh, great, though. <laughs> God. I must have rewind that fucking cake scene. The cake scene. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. As Erica, a young kid. Erica that, Aleniak. That Playboy playmate. Erica she pops Aleniak. out of the cake topless. Oh, man. As a 10 year old boy. Oh, that's. You hit puberty when you saw that scene. Yeah. Right. I you, rewound you it. You just wish, though, like when you got older, you're like, for sure, I'm going to have a big ass cake like that and have hot ass chick hop oh, out. Oh, she's going to pop out. Yeah. No, our we live in the Midwest. We can have a hot ass chick. We're going to have a chick that's got C section scars and bullet wounds right. hopping Talk out. Talk about muffin tops. Like, what? Yeah, she's, she eating, hopping out of she's a cupcake. eating the cake from the inside <laughs> out. <laughs> I remember at some party and our buddy. Um, <laughs> Drawer shitter? No, no, no. We don't call him that because we don't know yet. <laughs> there was oh, never a trial. You don't call him that. There was we never know. a trial. <laughs> you don't call him that. We should have a trial. Nick, I love you. Oh, you can't give up his name. Everyone. We've said a million names on here. Yeah. yeah Go on my name. Facebook and search Nick's. You might find him. Bill. <laughs> no, you Bill. won't. Sam. <laughs> but no, this Ryan. guy who we were partying at his house, he owned the house, and he was like with two 40 year old Oh my god, yes. And this other guy, we were, he's so he's walking out with two 40 year old fat bitches under his <laughs> arm, and the other guy at the house is like, that's a pimp right there. <laughs> <laughs> two chicks. I'm like... <laughs> That's a pimp. I don't want to be one. Right? <laughs> Anyone could bring two old fat chicks home from You don't the bar. think I could go to the bar right now and find, you know, two 40-year-old fatties. You're out of your fucking mind. No, yeah. <laughs> Step your game up. That's not game. Th- that's just... Yeah, but we we also... Got that's fucking s- harpooning. Right. <laughs> this, this fella, too, also had the... Uh, I'm pretty sure he saved in my phone still as Pump Pump Squirt. Pump Pump Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that, cause that well, was they a, used to go up north camping. and uh, Well, at least go riding the sleds up north. Yeah. and um, Not the Dells. <laughs> they, no. they, they would all have this bet about who could bang the fattest chick. Yeah, that sounds like $100 I don't want to. I just give it up pot. right there. Right. <laughs> yeah, just hand me the 100, 100 bucks in the go, pot. Fuck, just know. give it to Mike. <laughs> 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 Oh, he'd win every time. The, every time. But the thing was about it that that Mike pulled. Uh, God, I can't, we keep saying his name, but he pulled some. F- there's a lot of mics out there. Say, there's like <laughs> ten mics that he, I know. He pulled some quality, and they would be like, "Oh my God, he was the worst ever!" And they would come back every time. Every time, like it was gonna get better, and it just kept getting worse. That's well, what, girls, what girls like. have a nurturing. <laughs> <laughs> they want to. They see a man they and they want a problem. They want to fix it. Like, let's just say about him. this right now. You keep saying, "Let's leave this sock thing alone." I can't come with my <laughs> socks on. There's some girl out there listening right now. Like, I'm um, gonna make him come with his socks. Yep, on. she wants to be that mm, one. She's gonna be the one that you're like. Maybe dude. she's from the UK or uh, the Ukraine. Where Maybe. where we've reached out to the the gentleman's den is international. I'm telling you, bro, she's gonna come overseas <laughs> just to make you she fucking might blow your socks, socks off. Right. Fucking lying. You never know, though, man. All changes. Never welcome. say never. All changes. Welcome. That might be the one you're like. I'm gonna put a ring on it. Oh yeah. The first girl that made hey, you come in your socks. I'm going to be honest with you. That that's I just watched Good Luck Chuck. 
<laughs> I so, just, oh it, man, you know, I just put my head down. That I for some reason it was the wraith. Then good luck, Chuck. That guy was fucking hot for a minute, man. Dane, Dane Cook. Cook. Dane Cook, dude. Uh, I'm sure he's my still best friend's fucking girl. good or whatever. But he was in everything for a while, though. Well, he, you know his brother stole all his fucking money. Fucked him, really. Yeah. Embezzled like fucking thirty million or something. All of his money. He's wow. like in a lawsuit. Oh, that's what fame does, man. It fucks you up. It your fucks own your family brother, up. right? You know. Not to be like, hey, you made thirty million, like break me off a couple. No, I'm just gonna take all. I'm gonna take shit. all of it. Well, that's it. What the funny thing was was that's a that's all. It's happened all the time because I'll go to my pro wrestling roots. CM Punk had a fucking independent federation in Chicago, and his brother was the money guy and just took all the money and left. That's far. How do I'm you out. do that to fucking family, dude? That's I fucking crazy. Well, I mean, it fucks you up. Like, look at like child actors and shit. These parents are just like look at Bony, Bernie Kosar was a top quarterback in the NFL, and his dad took all of his money, uh, left him with nothing. Your own father. Your own father. Gary Coleman's parents. You know he's probably him. out there though. He's like, I gave that motherfucker life. Right. He, he came, owes me. He came from my balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bernie. If I wouldn't have shot that load, he'd have nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Your mom should have swallowed you. (laughs) 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 If I had a nickel. (sighs) You ever watch that documentary, uh, Robo Robo QB? What? See, again, no. (laughs) Uh, What the fuck? It was a 30 for 30 on ESPN about this guy. His dad was like. Oh, yeah. uh, His dad is basically the guy who Marv Marinovich made the. So you you love watching the combine. All those drills and so shit, much. his dad, like, invented yeah, all Todd that Yeah, Todd Marinovich. Yeah. Todd Marinovich. If so you... he trained his son from when he was young. What's his name again? Nonstop. What was he? Steve? Was the... Todd Marinovich, <laughs> and his dad's name is Marv <laughs> <All> Marinovich. <laughs> Todd. But if you looked at... If you looked... I remember. I still have I still have a Marinovich rookie card. If you looked at him, his throwing arm was... Two to three times the size of his fucking non-throwing arm. The dude had a cannon. So his oh, dad basically arm, just trained the, his son like a robot from the time he was young through fucking high school, college, yeah, What do you think to I'm going to do to my kid? He's going to be kicking field goals every no, fucking day. As soon as he got to college, he found that wonderful word. Bruh. He found Bruh. booze what? and blow, dude. Well, that's what happens with kids who are... Sheltered, like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the craziest freaks in fucking high school were always the kids of cops or pastors. Yep. Because yeah. those kids were so sheltered. Mm-hmm. And then when they got some freedom, Rebels. fuck off. I'm yep. going balls to the walls. Like, what are the around. Amish? What do they get? Rum Schrumpfer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sucking dick and doing blow and all kinds of fucking crazy shit on Rumspringer. I feel like we should do Rumspringer once a year just to like pay tribute. Oh yeah, I'm sure Milady will fucking wait a minute. So, <laughs> so <laughs> like, hey, Kayla, it's it's Rumspringer. So, so, <laughs> rum, so we we gotta do the opposite of what the Amish do and go and sober fucking, and go sober and not have any I'm electricity. Out, out. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want either of those no. things. Uh, the only time I want to go out with like like, like oh, go out without electricity is like when we're camping and shit. Like I'll car like I left my phone in the fucking car all weekend. Yeah, but you had yeah. your sound box. <laughs> yeah, I get that. That's battery power. Are we playing bro. music? Oh, that doesn't count. No, it's not plugged it's in. Not plugged in <laughs> it's not plugged in. There's no outlets. That's How'd you charge that battery? I was prepared. Oh, before we scout. left, yeah, he charged it. Yeah. <laughs> Like when you go out in the woods, even like on the shows, like alone when you're in the wilderness, they let you take some things with you. I took like two charged batteries and a speaker. <laughs> the three Bro. things. Shit, <laughs> seven left. There's some I don't like those fucking nature adventure channels because they're fake as fuck. Fuck off! I love that story. Oh, you like Bear Grylls? That shit's fake what? as shit. Isn't that no. his name? Yeah, oh. Bear Grylls. So he's doing this whole fucking skit where he like, oh, look at these. He can't even jump over these rocks, blah, blah, blah. And then he fucking jumps over it. And then someone who knew that location went back and filmed it. 
and they're showing the exact rocks he jumped over. And then they scroll over like a quarter turn, and there's a fucking highway like right no, there. No, it was it was the it was the lava fields <laughs> yes. in Hawaii. Yeah, and there's a fucking highway. There's a highway like, right, right there. next to it, and he's acting like he's in the middle of the fucking Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah, you can see that. Well, like there's a show on the History Channel called Alone, where there are people that they get ten items and they get to go build a their own little civilization, a house, a hut got to fend for themselves and set traps and fish and see how long they could live off the land. Like, it's pretty fucking intense. What about I love naked and Super- afraid? Yeah, how see, fucking seems- dumb is that how, show? Why do you got to be naked? Well, Because I want mosquito yeah. bites on my taint. Fuck off. I just yeah. w- nice dick play. <laughs> <laughs> they just, let's build a hut and shit. <laughs> well, like they, they fucking are out there on their own. It's crazy. Like, I'm gonna be stuck with that black play. guy because we can use his cock as like the center pole of the tent. <laughs> 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 Could beat deer to death with it. Yo, bro. <laughs> Hold that why, you, up, why don't you fucking chop down that tree over there? <laughs> <laughs> we need some wood, player. <laughs> I like all those stupid shows though, like the Curse of Oak Island and stuff like that, where it tells like a history story. I hate China. those shows. I love it. Even every though it's over, episode is a tease to the next episode. It is, <laughs> and it tells you the same information the same times. Like it's been six seasons. You told me this. Every season, t- every season, every time you're like, every oh, I love this show. Sounds like and the first like, four episodes. I was of the like, podcast. let me guess. They almost find a treasure at the end. But then the and then it cuts the commercial. And then they're like, oh, what is that? Next, Next time. <laughs> every <laughs> they're time. always it's basically a show about almost finding treasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's why I have never once watched Finding Bigfoot. You, well, if you, you know if why? You know why? Hear you know it. why? Because we would have already seen it in the fucking zoo or something, right? I don't need to hear. Fuck! Oh, did you hear that? That doesn't. Those noises don't get made in the woods. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I submitted Rogan. for it on online. I went and submitted in for finding Sasquatch. Joe Rogan had the best you line. Last week. When, Joe Rogan stand up. Right now. He's like, you know, you're. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan's like, you got a better chance of finding, what was it, Blackfoot? Or uh, Blackfoot? <laughs> big, <laughs> big Blackfoot. Because <laughs> you know, you... it's always dumb, white, fucking rednecks out there. He's I've like, seen you're, some. You're going to find Bigfoot before you find black people looking for <laughs> Bigfoot. Because <laughs> it's so true. They don't give a fuck. They got inner city fucking struggles and shit. Bro. We got bigger problems. It's always some fucking guy who lives in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. where I did see the squash. I seen him right over there. I was drinking there. the moonshine he right was, over there. By he was tree. beating off on top of my <laughs> squash. <laughs> Jesus. I was out there trying to harvest. And he's beating off on my squash. He's right here. And then he Bigfoot just ran juice. off into the woods. <laughs> Made eye contact him. with me Look right when he tracks. finished. He came. Made eye contact, and, took and now that loads off. on my soul for the rest of my <laughs> life. <laughs> that Bigfoot load. What do you think? Man, they make pornos that start out like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's that Sasquatch porn, bro. One of my favorite lines from Blockers. His load is on your soul for life. You guys made eye contact when he finished. You don't make eye contact. That's Whew. the rules. Never. Dude, I got to Unless it's up. intimate. I got a fucked up story. Okay. Oh, oh bro. Okay. I've never told this story in my life. Never ever? Oh bro. Let me just tell you. Well, it's a winner. I'm over at my buddy's house. This is back in the day, grade school. We're up and uh God, I can't remember what it was. Probably N sixty four playing automobile Lamborghini. Oh man. And we're out in the front room and uh <laughs> What's the front room? <laughs> we already explained this shit. <laughs> We're out in the front room. We're playing video games. And, you know, what do you do back in the day with, with no memory cards and no shit? Let that fucker ride. You let it ride. All night. So his dad comes out. And uh, oh, we fucking go down. We just pretend like we're sleeping. Right. Go we figured we're, he's going to check on us, you know, see if we're up. Nothing to see here. Go back to sleep so we can keep <laughs> playing Automobile Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't go back to sleep. Oh, no. (laughs) 
Do you know what he put on the TV? He <laughs> popped all that porno? He put on fucking porn. <laughs> 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 now, as a parent now, if I were to wake up out of my room and go to the French room and I'd see kids sleeping on the couch, I'd be like, well, I guess I'm not beaten off today. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'd go it's, back it's, to my go, room. Right. But not, this, not guy's like, this guy's like, this guy's like, I'm taking a chance. <laughs> <laughs> They're sleeping. Hey, psst, psst. All right, they ain't waking up. They're out. <laughs> I would, I would have been like, uh huh. Oh, mm. the yeah, what? Thank God he was a quiet masturbator. <laughs> 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 but I'm sitting there <laughs> pretending I'm sleeping with this, with this guy's fucking son. This guy, this, this and guy he's just fucking. Just watching the porn, bro. Beating off next just to a Just going to fucking old. town. You sure he was watching porn? He wasn't just beating no, off No, because I gave it the one eye. Oh. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> so now I know if we ever play like, <laughs> like Uncle Toulouse Never Toulouse Have I Ever, I watched an old man beat off while I was a kid. Could you imagine, though? You're like I'm, I'm kind of I'm glad in a way that I what? was awake. Well, I was awake. Could you imagine if I was actually sleeping and then I just woke you up woke and up I was like, what's going on? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he I fucking just... came and we locked eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that load it feels so Jeff. good. I can't stop coming. That, <laughs> that, that loaded man Jeff's soul That would have been life. a, that was. Obviously uh, this I, one has been. Bro, that was an awkward breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you right Seriously, now. Seriously, I would, off, off, off podcast, I need to know who that was because that. He's um, like, hey, I made breakfast. I was like, God damn, I hope, I hope you wash your fucking hands, <laughs> bro. I know what the fuck you were doing last night. Uh, but who does that? Did you, did you should have asked him that. That would have been a good thing. You made sure you washed your hands, right? Gave him like a fucking little stare. I was more pissed he shut you. off the video game. Wow. <laughs> My bro, we're on level 13. You just shut that shit off. So wait. That means... <laughs> If you both were up or dude was passed out? No, we were both up and pretending. Yeah, we ho- homeboy. So homeboy had to like talk to you the next day and be like, bro, I'm no, we sorry didn't talk about, about my it. dad. We did not talk about it. That's fucked up. We like, never talked about it. Can you imagine it. being that dude being like, I can't believe my dad's I've never sorry. talked about it to him and I've never <laughs> talked about it to anybody else. What do you think is going through his now. fucking head? Dude, he, he's fucked up. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you right now, oh, uh, his life, believe. his life didn't really turn out fucking dead very well. Off in Dude. front of fucking friends, I guarantee own. that had something to do with it. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Like, so if someone says now, they're like, "Hey, man, dude, I seen what's his face from fucking grade school. He ain't doing too good." I'd be like, oh, "Yeah, let me tell I you know why. why. <laughs> I know why. I know why. The moment it changed. What's funny too is his mom was a fucking brown belt in fucking karate." So she'd be like, well, fucking he was more scared of his mom than his fucking dad. I saw his mom fucking roundhouse him in the chest. (laughs) Sent him against the fucking. What the fuck kind of people? (laughs) He was getting all he was getting all fucking chesty and shit. You know, we were all like fucking around and blah, blah, blah. And his mom's like, yeah, you fucking show me what you're learning and shit. Because we we took karate lessons together. Basically, I just played with my dick the whole fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was in a soccer league, and my mom was, like, videotaping it, and I ended up watching it. And I was like, God, I play with my dick a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my mom even asked me. She's like, you're not even, like, going after the ball. You're sitting there just playing with your dick. <laughs> and I told her, I was like, it's sticking to the side of my leg. <laughs> She still tells me to this day. It's like, remember when you said your dick was sticking to the side of your leg and you couldn't run? <laughs> but like, honestly, yeah. yeah. Ma, I remember. Yeah. I remember. That's there's why I don't two, play sports now. There's two factors in soccer. I don't want to get kicked in the shit. <laughs> and my dick sticks to the side of my leg. I could have went pro. Uh, <laughs> oh, but I was blessed fuck. with a big cock. Damn this <laughs> dick. <laughs> Fuck this Damn dick. you, dick. I could have been uh, a contender. I could have been a pro. Every time I get a heart on a pass out. Me and David Beckham could have been like this, this son. son. <laughs> but no, this big cock cursed me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, always so short, though. I got a small cock. I used to tell girls <laughs> at the bar. 
Like, oh, what happened between you and your girlfriend? Oh, uh, yeah, small dick. She's, like, rubbing my shoulders. <sighs> my dick's, like, super small. She's like, I'll suck it. <laughs> Let me nurture you. This isn't that small. Shut he's got, up. He's got a problem. <laughs> I'm going to fix him. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're always fixers, bro. That's what they want to do. They want to just make That's it. why they all date douchebags. Because <laughs> they're like, I'm going to fix it. It's a project. Bag. He's going to change. He's going to change. He's He really does love me. And Ten years later, <laughs> he's going to change. I promise. Things oh. are different now. <laughs> Things are different now. He totally just got out. That's what he's done doing all the cheating. I seen a great meme the a other misunderstanding. day. These kids were these like little kids, probably like three, wearing some dope ass clothes. Just like the baggy, idea. the baggy jeans, fucking all cut up with like a sweet fucking vest on and like a flat brim fucking hat, and it was like congratulations on dressing your kid up like the man who left you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my favorite is the meme of if you're 30 and still dressed like this, grow the fuck up. Where the guy's got the What's fucking. What's wrong with how I'm dressed right now? Shit. The guy's got the chin strap beard and the fucking shitty tattoos and the fubu jersey. Why are you making fun of me right now? <laughs> <laughs> you literally just described Francis. Right? Like, well, no, he doesn't have the chin strap because he, his. What do you mean I'm, it doesn't grow anywhere else? He's got the John Wick beard. He's got the John Wick beard. The chin strap is no mustache. Fucking boogie, man. Well, they grow the, they have the chin strap because it accentuates your jawline. And they yeah. have fat faces then I don't from all look, the juice. I don't look as fat. That's yeah. why I wear black V-necks every day. Yeah, black is very slimming. Slimming, more slimming. But there's nothing I can do about hiding. You should start wearing black. vertical lines. Vertical? Yeah, because horizontal makes you look big. You go vertical. Go vertical. I don't like stripes, bro. Don't look taller, I'm into bro. These. I, don't, I don't like wearing regular shirts unless it's a V-neck. I only wear V-necks. I don't like wearing shirts, period. I got the big fat cut out. neck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what does it have on it? Huh? Oh, well. <laughs> so I, I don't wear shirts unless the nipples are cut out because I need my nipples to breathe. You got to let them breathe. Yeah, dude, I got yeah. <laughs> Jeff was it, the bro science. <laughs> 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 fucking it's just the gut yeah, cut I, out. I, those were fucking. I I used to watch those all the, the fucking chest time. out. What was it the chest out V neck or whatever it was? Or? Taking your shirt off isn't as easy as <laughs> just taking, taking your shirt, shirt off. off. <laughs> so he's like figuring. He's like, you don't want to be the first douchebag at a party to take your shirt off. But you are <laughs> every time. But as soon as, the, as soon as the first one comes off, you bet I'm number oh, yeah. two. And then Jeff's always trying to get you to like join the party. Like you could be the second one. Dude, take your shirt off. Right, got your shirt on still. Come on. Why are you still wearing your shirt? I it's remember a hot we were over day. at uh, Milady's friend's uh, uh, parents' house, and they had some big volleyball thing going over there. And that was when I was working out, feeling good. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, "Fuck, I want to take my shirt off." <laughs> <laughs> Some other guy took his shirt off. I was like, fuck yeah, it's go time. Go time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the first dickhead who took my shirt off. But no, he had a shirt with the fucking just the ab section cut out. <laughs> what? <laughs> was he wearing like a fucking. No, no he, had a regu- he had a regular T-shirt on and he, then just, he just had the, the abs cut out. He's like, oh yeah, cutting your sleeves off is cool, but if he's right now you got to cut the abs <laughs> out. Right? Because then that way you can still go into a gas station who, and buy a product. Who still has abs, though? Uh, I haven't seen uh, mine in years. I don't know. I don't know anyone I went to high school with that still has abs. My brother. I think I was. Huh? Maynard. I don't mean. Fucking Shredzilla, bro. Shredzilla. Your brother was fucking. He was one of those guys like AJ. Yeah, I was, was just, just about like, to say that. He was Shredzilla. like just naturally just fucking shredded. <laughs> It's even it, in grade school, he's fucking built like a Greek god. I'm like, what the fuck? I it's, feel like it's, I was. Too. I weighed like a hundred pounds. No, I don't know huh? what happened. No. What the fuck are you talking about? No, dude. I was AJ's, AJ's fucking more buff than you were. Oh, you dude, were pretty ever in my life. My brother was super vascular. Still is. What do those words mean? Veiny. No, yeah, his brother was built like a UFC fighter back in like seventh grade. Not a giant chest, but a super strong chest. Yeah, and his forearms are the size of his biceps. Bruh. His arm is just a meat stick. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even imagine what his cock looks like? Super <laughs> tiny. Two meat sticks. Super tiny. <laughs> Two meat sticks. 
He's you guys he, are eating meat. He's he's, he's really pretty. Good. He's pretty and he's jacked. His dick is fucking literally a fucking toothpick. Fucking crazy. So I bet you there's still just a remember chick that wants to be jacked. like we, you, could, you could clean my teeth. You we're could, watching. Oh, no, one hundred percent. So you can't have it all, though. I remember yeah. watching. Uh, Always a chink in the armor, like I say. Well, we were watching some fucking show. I don't know, one of those like house hunter shows or whatever. It's something with the yeah. couples and the one guy's fucking just, you know, gorgeous fucking looking, jack chiseled, beautiful hair. His wife's fucking hot as shit. And then my girlfriend's like, oh, those kids are fucking nasty. I was like, <laughs> I mean, you can't have it all. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can't be rich, be good looking and have good looking kids. No. It's, There's got to be some kind of chink in the fucking there's armor. There's always a right. chink in the armor. Think about it. The hottest girl you've ever seen. Take her pants off and it looks like a high school play curtain down there. Maybe. Or one leg shorter than the other one. Or fuck, just fucking something's off. Oh, well, yeah. You can pick Why something off. Why are you describing about. me again? <laughs> she's got webbed toes. <laughs> My hips Yeah, but hurt. she's a fast fucking swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We always go to the lake. <laughs> I saw her catch a salmon with a My mouth. God damn, she's fast. She's like I got a, a thing for mermaids. She's like a dolphin. Yeah, I got a <laughs> mermaid fetish. <laughs> Call why, me Aquaman. That's why you always smell like tuna. <laughs> oh, I love she it. always wants to fuck in the tub. I could eat a peach <laughs> for hours. Oh, you don't want to go down on a mermaid. That's another fucking a mermaid, my friend. crazy movie. Face off. Face off. I want to take his face off. Off. You do remember I mentioned Does that. Does John Wu is he still podcast, around? Right. No. Or John did that die in the nineties with yeah. the doves and the smoke? Uh, Whatever yeah. he had going on. There was like a dove flying off in every scene. There's fucking someone's um having a brush a fire in around. the background. <laughs> Who's <laughs> burning leaves? Because there's <laughs> always smoke coming across the fucking screen. Uh, you remember John Wu movies? Yeah, uh, God, what was the one? We just talked about Face Off when you were talking about barefoot skiing. That's what I said. When they were behind the boat. I yeah. just said that. I know, I you did take earlier. His face Off. Now we're going to talk about Other doves, and, doves and movie. brush fires. What was that movie fucking called? <sighs> God damn it. It was, it was a John Woo? Yeah, with Chow Young Fat. It was before he made Face Off. Oh. It was a big hit. What happened no. to the guy from Ung Bak? Those movies were fucking Awesome, Fuck dude. It. Tony Ja. Yes. Yeah, the first Ooh. Ong Bak movie was Ong fucking Bak. crazy. Legit as fuck. Is that a real name? Yes. Yeah. These movies are fucking... You want to see are, some hardcore fucking... That's Thai. Those guys are Thai. That's Muay Thai. That dude hit you with elbows and knees, all kinds of crazy. Dude, the knees, the flying knees. I heard that what one you said about me, dude. That one where he came across the screen at like fucking Mach 10 and launched that dude across the fucking dude, <laughs> fucking crazy. Ung Bak, Google it. Uh, I guarantee it. Still, sucks. still not as good as the Black Dynamite seed. Nipsey's not here. Pah! <laughs> 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 Kicks the <that> door open. <laughs> just sends that lady. Black play. Dynamite is just a great. I love that when he shows up to the, what was it a pool hall? Yeah. I don't know what it is. And they're like, yeah, right. You better fucking they talk <laughs> shit to this guy. You better leave. And he's like walking towards the door to leave. And he just shuts the door and locks, locks it. It. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the scene from fucking uh, Bronxdale. Yeah. <laughs> where the bikes are, bikers are in the bar. And he goes to leave. And then Man, he ends up shutting the door. And then he locks it. And then they beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Great fucking movie. God. Black Dynamite is. F- is that like the. In the like. The sign of I'm gonna fuck shit up if I'm gonna go lock the door and hundred percent. Well, the, yeah, because they're talking. Uh, shit. Like they're like, get the beer. fuck out of here, blah blah blah, and then, and then he starts walking towards the door. They're like, yeah, see, pussy, blah blah blah. But then he instead of walking out of it, he shuts it and locks them in. Yeah, and then he's chucking them out the windows. Oh, shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, is, is that like the international <laughs> sign of like, hold my beer, I'm about to fuck shit oh, up? Oh, jeez. Well, dude, how about funny to go is down it? in Black Diamond in that fight scene you're talking about? When his buddy comes in bullhorn and he actually slaps the guy, they didn't edit it right purposely. He slaps the guy, and the guy's like, "You motherfucker!" Then it's next scene, the dudes, the dudes in the same suit, but it's a different guy, so it's all baggy <laughs> on him. He's all tiny and shit. It's <sighs> fucking crazy now, like what oh, they do with like were, CGI right. and shit. Like now, it's like you remember uh, Logan, yeah, right. So uh, X twenty three. The younger Logan with the shaved head—that's mm-hmm. all CGI. Yeah, yeah. 
It's fucking nuts because it looks exactly Just like, like his ass. Yeah, and you don't even have to be in it. Even like the Paul Walker kind of looks fake because they CGI'd. They use yeah, they use his brother and kind of yeah. filled in. Even that looks kind of fake, but that fucking Logan looks fucking legit. It's crazy what they do with technology, man. Mm-hmm. Technology, man. Technology. It's a motherfucker. Can you even imagine technology. what the fuck these kids are going to have? Right. Like, when we grew up, we had fucking Atari, Atari. came out. I remember fucking... And fucking Mario Brothers. I got, I got my cousins. I got a pee. <laughs> what? Is that the way you're dancing around like a fucking leprechaun? Yeah. Corn fest. I can't believe you thought I was a fucking leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, daddy gotta go. Man. Like, Where's what the fuck is it gonna be? Like, look at... You just got the new Madden, right? Madden 20? I did. What, How's what, it look? What's uh? It looks absolutely ridiculous and amazing, and it's like a fucking real life. What about being professional? About what? Psh, bathroom breaks and turning cell phones on. That's like podcast <laughs> rule one hundred and one. This fucking guy, man. Believe that shit. I can't wait till he listens to this tomorrow. Too much alcohol, bitch. That's what happens <laughs> to your bladder. Nah, dude. He's a fucking pro, bro. Professional, he's like, oh, I, I could count on them to keep it rolling. Sean been playing Madden. <laughs> I haven't seen him. I can't get. I've only Madden. played a couple I can't days. Get Madden it's, because I will get sucked in the fucking is, vortex. It, but it, it's not like it used to be. It's just something that's nice when there's nothing to do and you're bored. Well, I know, but they get you though, where you gotta like play every day and you gotta do the weekly challenges. Like, bro, I yeah, ain't got time I got, for this yeah, shit. I, I got kids and I got a job. I just like hopping on and playing a couple games here and there now. I did get obsessed for Take a minute. Take my bears. There. I did get obsessed for a minute. Yeah, you I were. I was on the Madden teat, and I was sucking it. Hard. <laughs> you went down a deep hole. It's fun, though, man, because it, it takes you back to when we were kids, and you like you went to a card shop, and right. you bought a pack of cards, and you opened those cards. You didn't know what you were getting. Fuck, dude, right, I got a fucking Jordan fucking card. Book. Like. Yeah, and then you put it in your book, and then the good cards got a separate book. Right. And then the Set really cards. good cards got a fucking plastic case. Right. So it just takes you back, and it's like, it's crazy. Like, how is this not fucking, this is 100% gambling. There's kids on here that are playing this that are, you know, 10, yeah. 10 years old, and it's like, Mom, give me your fucking credit card. For what? That's all I'm going to buy imagine, imaginary packs. Right, not even something. Like, back in the day, though, like, I remember I pulled some cards, and I was like, boom, I paid $3 for that pack, and that card's worth 153 Yeah, but how much did you, you spend know, on shitty packs so you didn't oh, get nothing? Oh, so much more. But you I actually had cases. a value to get more. Jesus. I still have feel a better fucking now, Big Bear? whole tote full of fucking baseball and basketball We got to go through that one day. Bro. Right. I went through it the, um, not too long ago. I got, like, a Sammy Sosa rookie card. Ken Griffey like, what's Jr. Your rookie going card, for now? nothing. People, no <laughs> zero, bro. If it's not, especially if it's not graded. I have an autographed Kobe Bryant rookie card, and that shit's probably worth nothing. You should have sold it when he retired. I should have the hype, but yeah. I didn't. So I that's why I did all my collecting was because I was going to sell them all when they retired. Right. Guess what? The card market crashed because they flooded the market with product. Hundred percent. I mean, I thought these. I got unopened Wheaties boxes up here in the garage like but someone will fucking pay for it man that's what I mean like yeah one but not as much I, I thought honestly you can get those for like 12 bucks yeah. online bro I thought they'd be worth a lot I was like fuck dude I, got, I would think like, like when Walter Payton passed away I bought this Wheaties box tribute to sweetness I'm like fuck this is gonna be worth so much money right it's like 12 bucks on eBay <laughs> that's crazy but if you did find the right guy and like there wasn't any up for sale he might pay a hundred. He might pay. Yeah, that's maybe. called supply and demand. That's with anything, though. Right. Well, how many people were fucking like, "I'm gonna keep this Wheaties box"? Why do you think a Ferrari is more expensive than a fucking Ford Taurus? Because it's Cause they hand made, built, bro. It's it's made, and they made, made and they made five billion Tauruses, and they made a hundred and thirteen fucking Ferraris. That's why you gotta wait for that Corvette, that new Corvette. Ooh. It's fucking pimp, bro. I keep t I bring it up on every podcast because it's fucking tits. Obsessed. So Chevrolet, <laughs> if you want to so sponsor us, with me. I'll take an Elkhart Blue. But dude, that Corvette, they're gonna one. over. Everybody is pre-ordering this Corvette. So in like five years, what is it? They say uh, five years it appreciates thirty to forty percent 
So yeah, you're gonna so pick them up grand. for twenty grand. Yeah, you're gonna get a With mid-engine fucking basically a supercar for fucking thirty grand. With fifteen thousand miles on it. That's what I paid for mine. Call yeah. Guinness. I'm in, bro. Yeah, I still like the classics, though. I do. I'm oh. buying a super. <laughs> classic, yeah. I'm buying a super. You hear it's that been every decided day. on this every podcast. Every right day. Now. Check out the Supra. Look at this super. I love earlier that you're looking at supers on your phone, and you're like, oh, look at this super. This thing's dope as fuck. I oh, look at this super. It it's dope as <laughs> Yeah, don't even show it to me. <laughs> well, let me, let me see let me, it, Yeah, you can tell me. Look at this thing. I, now I'm fucking curious. The suspension's killing me. You look like six it, of them in a row. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. What are you going to get? Rat Rod? I don't know. Yeah, Frankie's going to get a 69 Suicide Door Lincoln. I would love to get one of those. Sean's going to get a style. fucking van with no windows in the back. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> uh, you beat free me to candy. it. No, I was Stay not going to say free anything. It's going to have an awesome fucking airbrushed eagle on the side. Ooh. Or a chick riding a polar Dude, it's bear. it's 2019. Dude. You can't put, like, free candy on it. It's got to be, like. Free uh, Wi-Fi. High-quality <laughs> Instagram photos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, rare Pokemon. <laughs> Poke- <laughs> There's rare Pokemon cards in here, mom. Look. Can check out is my Pokemon, Pokemon Go cards. still a thing? Remember how fucking Ooh. huge that shit Our, was? Dude, who did sure. we bold with? I'm oh, sure dude, he was, like, thing. hunting Pokemon while this we were bowling. This dude's <laughs> five years older than me, and he's hunting Pokemon. Yeah, I know. I heard even some girls at work that were talking about it, like... So is this still a thing? It is. And this was this was uh, literally okay. like two weeks ago. So yeah. You know what that People is? Still it's because it. all the my kids. sister literally pulled off the side of the road. She's in the middle of a fucking cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> so she could catch a Pokemon. Yes. So she's driving, looking and seeing. Is there any Pokemon? She on She was this road? driving, yes, down the county road. And she literally That's pulled over, and she's like walking in the middle of a cornfield. A Charizard. I'm Jesus trying to get to catch them all. I gotta catch them all. You gotta. I never got into. I it. I always See, like that's like that's like with anything though. It's it's a game. Like that's why I like playing like a game in Madden or playing something. It's a release and it's a commitment to something to 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 just focus your mind and not think of like the bullshit and like oh god all the. Oh well, yeah, it's an and, escape. You know. Right. It's all. It like is. you just get off work. You focus like, your energy. Fuck man, I just spent all that time for what? Doing right. what? It's nothing. But you know what you weren't thinking about bullshit stuff that's fucking real life depressing shit so it's a release to give you some stimulation of, of relaxation you know what else way. is a release unless you're sean screaming every time you play a game Motherfucker. god <laughs> damn it you know what though <laughs> fucking hold on to the ball dude how many drops do they have in that <laughs> fucking game bro i don't Come know they on. don't drop it for me yeah okay I, I listen to you play a game. <laughs> what the fuck? These wide receivers are fucking trash. I might get mad no again. Way. Are you guys on mutt? You guys doing? Yeah, I got my team. Team? my team's like a seventy three overall right I now. I did. I didn't Bears buy any team, packs. team bro. I might That's get where it's it. At. I cannot wait for fucking the season. To Maybe start. we'll set up a team with the listeners. Ooh, I got a draft tomorrow for fantasy football. I can't wait. <sighs> What's Which, our? Uh, don't we have a Xbox thing? TGD Gaming. Yes, you could check it out and follow us. Join on us, TGD Gaming. We're on Let's fucking, Xbox uh, One. One. Let's do a one. fucking Madden Ultimate team. Remember when we actually used to get online? Let's play every day against and some talk? listeners. That'd Hang be fun. On. Yeah, it would be. If you uh, if you think you got the skills to come play three v three in Madden against the three of oh, us, oh, Graybush is gonna dominate. Let's go, dude. Our team's so fucking shitty. I guarantee someone's gonna whoop our <laughs> ass. You guys fucking suck, you sons of bitches. Yeah, I gotta get used to the playbook. I haven't even tried playing the Bears playbook yet. It's uh, it's definitely fun. Like I said, fantasy football too. I'm gonna be focused. I'm trying to do as many leagues as I can. I would love to start another one. We've been talking about doing a dime. Never Young's been in one. Young Zachary See, you wants keep... to do a gentleman's den. Right. And he, I already told him. He goes, well, get Jeff to do well, it. We should, yeah, we should do it. something with people who, like, follow us. I'm totally down. So, 12 guys. Well, that What's m- the email, Sean? The gentleman's den pod at gmail.com. Email us. Let's do a fantasy league with the listeners. We would at least need, need at least, like, four or five people extra, including us and a couple other uh Friends of ours that'll be on the show. Uh, we, you know, there's some people we need to reach out to that we haven't talked to in a while. Yeah, that might hop in. There's, there's, it's just so much fun just to talk shit. Like I said, Jeff's never been in it. Every never time we talk one. about it, you My say man you don't want to do it. 
and you're not interested. In all honesty, what a better way, a more fitting way to end the podcast this week than talking about fantasy football and getting everybody to come fucking join a fantasy league with us. Coming. Yeah. Join it. Join it up. Join our fucking Xbox group. Join the Xbox group. TGD Gaming. Play some Madden. Play some Madden. Play some... You guys played, what, Duty? You were playing a couple of days ago, Frankie? Yeah. I, I did. Some Duty. Call did you? Duty 3. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you if, did you, hop if you like playing old school zombies, Jeff's the zombies. dude. I'm the zombie fucking master, dude. Oh, you you want to get to level night? 50? I'm your man. We started at like 7 o'clock at night and didn't finish till noon the next day. Dude, we got to level like what? 55. 55. I thought, yeah. <laughs> and also, <laughs> folks, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the underscore gentleman's underscore den. There's a picture of my booty up as there. As well as on Twitter at gentleman den. And if you guys are local, we will be at Great Lakes uh, Dragway tomorrow. Yeah. For uh, import. At the Grove. Import, import Wars. Wars. Family. Well, Family. That would be, this. since this is coming out on Sunday, it would be today. Today. <laughs> yes. Today. So if you're listening Sunday morning, come to the Great Lakes Dragway in Union Grove. Come we'll have a drink. There. Stay hydrated. Watch some fun cars rip down the track. It's going to be a good time, it. General. I owe you uh. a 10-second car. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Not again. Oh, man. I love you guys, man. I love everybody for listening. Thank you. I love you, man. And I love all I our love listeners. You, I'm going to buy Matt. You heard it, folks. He's going to buy Matt. He said it. Once again, thanks. We'll see you next week for the Gentleman's Den. Bye-bye. <laughs>